Well, we're going to have a little bit of cloud cover in the morning hours, but otherwise, it's not going to be bad at all. I think we're going to have some clearer skies going in Saturday to Sunday. And yeah, that is going to be the forecast that we're dealing with throughout much of the next extended forecast. In fact, we're trying to track some rain because we're behind our rain totals, but we're getting really pretty pictures like this and dry conditions as we roll through. But yeah, today was gorgeous. We opened up our picture windows and we can see Red Square is just beaming with sunshine. Not a ton of folks out there as it's Friday sailing into the weekend. And we're looking at Pierce County, lots of sunshine, even pushing further east. This is a great shot of Stevens Pass with the snow melting and pretty good traffic conditions heading across I-90 at Hayek at this hour. So a lot of sunshine even up to the north sound. We're seeing those temperatures across Seattle, 72 degrees, 76 for Portland, cooler at Far Friends in the Bay Area in Southern California. The warmth is through the desert. We cool off a little bit as we get into New Mexico, Santa Fe, and then we gain that warmth all the way from Houston up towards Minneapolis at this hour. Some cooler spots for us, though. We're seeing 61 for Port Angeles and 57, feeling pretty chilly for Oak Harbor. Our temperatures down near Kelso, near 77, so almost a 20-degree difference between uh, the islands in the North Sound and dropping down to the South Sound. We're going to hang on to most of these temperatures as we get rolling through the next several days. We're seeing activity well off to the northwest of us and well off to the east. That activity will stay that way and finally start to wrap up, but right back here at home in western Washington, we are pretty quiet on our satellite Doppler radar. In fact, this is the situation why we're seeing everything move up to the northeast and move into Canada with some higher rain up there. But for us, we're staying high and dry. High pressure well to the east of us is going to slowly inch over our way as it moves in. It gives us those warm, dry conditions. It also keeps our grounds tinder dry. We haven't had much rain at all. We're behind by over six inches for the year. So that's something to think about as we get into the second half of the weekend. So overnight tonight, we will see those temperatures around 47 degrees, 73 for our Saturday, Sunday 68, dropping off to just right around average 69 is average. But the winds start to kick up and it's not a huge gusty situation, but it's going to be breezy at times with winds maybe gusting to 20 miles an hour. So because of that, fire danger is elevated. So let's look at some of those winds. This is 8 a.m on our Sunday morning. Looks pretty normal. This is pretty typical. Winds are moving in uh, out of the north and uh, northeast. We'll see those pick up as we get to the afternoon. Sunday, 2 p.m. We're seeing a gust of 21 miles an hour for Seattle. Down towards Chehalis, 26 at the ocean beaches, just a little bit more. Then those winds will start to subside. And as we get into our Monday afternoon, early evening, same kind of situation goes our way. And we'll do it again as we go all the way into our Tuesday evening afternoon. So that's why we need to watch the situation out there with with those dry tender grounds, especially in eastern Washington, where it is very dry. Okay, so the lack of rain not really helping us. We could use some, but if you want to enjoy some sunny conditions, Sunday, even into our Monday, look really nice as we start the work week. This is our future cast satellite uh, Doppler radar uh, images for the future, and it didn't really show much. You didn't see much going on as we push past. So that's the indication that we'll see those sunny skies out there. A lot of activities going on. If you're a Sounders fan and an OL Rain fan, Lumen Field is going to be really the spot to be this weekend. We have the Sounders kicking off first and then the OL rain. We have the Timbers and the Thorns in town. Great conditions at the pitch. Then we get into our Sunday and down at Starfire in Tukwila we'll see the Sea Wolves having their uh, day in the sun. Breezy conditions Sunday night, Monday night as well. Elevated fire danger continues into Tuesday, Wednesday, the warmest day of the week. OL rain are back. 83 degrees. It's going to be a warm one on the pitch at Lumen Field. And then Thursday and Friday we start to cool down just a bit into the upper 70s to near 75 by Friday, but we bring in a little bit of cloud cover to help us out.